Pepper. <laughs> oh, it's running. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. Hello there. And welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art Studios. Studios. I'm Jeremy. I'm Lee. And this episode is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Um, I am really excited I'm doing an open cup, which I haven't done in a long time. It's been a while. It has been a while, yeah. yeah. So, and I have some really interesting colors in mind that I'm going to use. And um, what are you doing, Lee? Uh, I had a break from this brand new resurgence of a fun technique, mm. which BR Turner Art has got us all very excited about using marbles on our paintings. <laughs> and I nicknamed this one for me only the pinball technique. Everybody's going crazy over this new it's technique. It's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fiona's done it, Mina's done it, Sarah's yeah. done it that we know of. Um, but clearly, we've all been um, very excited to try this out because of BR Turner yeah. Art and his wonderful Instagram page, but also yeah. his YouTube channel too. Yeah. 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 So it's really exciting. I think I think all of this has been a lot of fun. It's super exciting. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So um, anything else that we need to talk about <laughs> here? <laughs> Only that I have allergies today, which are really bad. <laughs> so from sniffling, I apologize. Oh, wait. There is something very important. This Sunday mm -hmm. is the amazing collaboration right. with none other than Canela. Exactly. Canela Sirocco. Go right? big or go home. Go big or go home, which is really going to be a lot of fun. Right. Um, I'm really nervous about that. But nine canvases, no, 27 canvases, 27 colors. Uh-huh. Three artists. Three artists. So yeah, it's going to be really fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Please come and join us. The timings for the premieres will start from 3 o'clock Eastern. So 12 o'clock Pacific. And yes. that's going to be this Sunday. Yes, which is going to be awesome. Uh -huh. I'm excited. All right. Well, I'm so excited. I don't know if you can tell, right. but I'm very excited about getting to this pour today. Should we get to so the table? So let's get to the table. Let's do it. All right. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I got my canvas all flooded for you. Um, it is gallery wrap mm -hmm. with uh, with us taped in the back and our stick pins put in it. Um, it is a 16 by 16 canvas, which is great. Um, let me introduce you to my colors. Um, and what they are is this Arteza Pearl Glacier Blue, which I'm in love with. This is Deco Art 24 karat metallic gold. Um, these are all leftover paints, by mm -hmm. the way. That's why I'm showing you the cups. Um, but this is actually phalo turquoise. By golden. By golden, which is one of my absolute favorite colors. Right. If you can, get your hands on some. I definitely. Yes. Um, and then this is the deep violet hue. Uh, you can't really see it because it's so deep violet. Um, and then I have the... Uh, Permanent. Permanent red violet. violet light. Yes. Amsterdam. By Amsterdam. So these are really interesting colors. And what I'm going to do today is actually an open cup. It's you been can, a while. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done an open cup. Um, so let's place this in the center here. Boop. I think that's pretty good. And um, let's start out with a little bit of hmm i'm gonna start out with a little bit of white actually oh, that's a good idea yeah and maybe a little white around the cup or not yeah, yeah you know that I always agree. helps kind of anchor it just a tad plus you really want those colors to flow right i want them to flow flow right out flow right out. i'm going to start out with this uh this permanent deep violet Next, I think I'm going to go with the gold. Now, I don't want a whole lot of that gold in there because that will take over. Mm, I'm deciding on which one to do first. I wish I could ask you guys um, which one to do next. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the phalo. And we have movement. That did it, we have movement. We have lift off. Lift off. And then of course, I'm gonna go with the, uh, oh, wow, that really did something there. A 
a little bit of that. Some more of this. A little bit more gold over here. I'm going to put it on this side of the cup. A little bit of this, phalo turquoise. I'm loving what's starting to happen. Now I did that little squiggly because whenever I take the cup off and, ever, and I move the cup around, I don't want one big blob of color in the center. So I'm gonna actually take a stick and I'm gonna do that with some of the other colors. Let's see here, maybe just a little bit. And that's all gonna stretch out. All right, you got that one. Let's see this one. All right. I think that might be enough paint on my canvas. What do you think, Lee? I think so. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try this out here. If I have to, I can always do another one. Ooh, so galactic. Intergalactic. Okay, here we go, everybody. You know what time it is? What right time now? is it? Right it now? looks like a snail. Look at it. Like it does look like a snail. Do two, two, two little antenna on it. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't want to touch it now. Leave it as it is. <laughs> Leave it as it is. Um, what time it is it? It is Tilton time. Tilton time. All right, let's see here. Let's stretch this bad boy out and see what we got going on underneath. guys so I didn't have enough paint on my canvas because this is not a 16 by 16 canvas this is a 20 by 20 canvas right <laughs> what's four inches between friends <laughs> like, 
I'm like, math is hard. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit more paint. I'm loving what's happening here. Not so crazy about right here. So <gasps> I'm going to put the paint here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate it all over here. I love that bit there. What's oh, this bit mm -hmm. here? Really? Yeah. I'm loving this. Yeah, that's good too. Love it all. We fly Alright, another snail there. Nothing is untrue. Okay guys, I am in love with this. I'm loving this purple right here. I'm loving the, the phalo turquoise, the blues, all the cells that have come up. I'm in love with this very much. And I don't want to get rid of this negative space that's here and here. I don't think so either. I love I it. Think I really like that. I like normally, the balance of it. Yeah, normally I'm like, Get rid of all the negative space. And with this, I think it's balanced perfectly. Mm -hmm. Everyone um, always says in the comments about having a place for your eye to rest. Yes. And I think that's perfect in this piece because it's yes. very everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm, lo I'm absolutely loving this. I'm gonna keep it as is. Um, I can't wait to hear the comments about this one. I'm gonna get my edges, I'm gonna clean everything up and we'll take you in for a close up. Let's do it. Okay. We fly caught in a burning fire, and the sun may tear the wings of us like a We fly. All right, ladies and gents. So you just saw Jeremy do a really spectacular open cup. Well, thank you. Well done, Jeremy. Thank you, thank Definitely you. Definitely one of my favorites of yours. I love that negative space on either side. Good job. Um, <laughs> now I'm gonna get to play in with a marble again. I'm gonna do what I nicknamed the pinball technique, only because it made sense to me with the ball pinballing around the canvas. 
did check it with B.R. Turner Art and told him that's what I was doing and he loved it. So I'm not trying to steal anyone's technique here, just me naming something because he hadn't. Um, B.R. Turner, thank you very much for all of the excitement and interest in using a marble on a canvas again. Thank you. Fiona, Sarah and Mina have all been doing it and I'm going to keep doing it too. Now I've covered this canvas with a thin layer of black because what I'm going to do is alternate the bases between black and white, which I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Um, but first off, let me introduce you to my colours. These are some wonderful, vivid colours. I have pale green in this pouch by Arteza. I've got permanent red violet by Amsterdam. I have a green yellow by Artist Loft. Which I love. Purple grey is a colour we've not used. This oh, is yeah. a Liquitex Basics colour. Huh. And another new one, Cerulean Blue. Ooh. Cadmium Red Deep Hue <laughs> is a Liquitex Basics colour, alongside some turquoise blue. And then Vermilion is a colour by Amsterdam, which we absolutely love. Jeremy Whoa. loves it, it's like Whoa. orange. Now let me show you my consistency, if I can show you this. It is thick. It is mound and then disappearing in about three seconds, four seconds. This mix is just 50% flow troll. 25% paint and 25% gloss medium. There is no water in this at all. It is intentionally thick because thin paints really don't give you the best result when you're doing this pinball technique. You really wanna have it a little thicker. So, as I get to putting my base coat on my canvas, I have Jeremy standing next to me doing something that he's been doing for the last two weeks, <laughs> which is testing me on my citizenship flashcards. Yes. Because, ladies and gents, I'm actually going next Tuesday, which will be 4.20, believe it or not, for my citizenship test and interview. Um, I've got a green card, I'm here as a permanent resident, but I'm actually applying to become an American citizen. Um, it's a long drawn out process. It's been 18 months since I applied. Um, and I've got the test. Now there are 100 questions and I've learnt all of them but Jeremy's been testing me every single day. He's been an absolute sweetheart going through these questions with me. As I'm putting my base coat down, we're both gonna learn something. I'm gonna make sure that I know these questions and you might learn something new about the United States of America. So, Jeremy. Yes. I am ready. Test, okay. test away. All right. The first question, 69. Who is the father of our country? That will be George Washington. Very good. All right. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Uh, the one promise I remember from the cards is to uh, give up loyalty to another country. Yes. What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for both civil rights and women's rights. She sure did. Um, name one state that borders Canada. Canada. The one that I've learned is New York. Yes. What are the others? Oh my gosh. Ohio, New Hampshire, North Dakota, Washington, Minnesota, Michigan, Montana. Shout Alaska. out, guys, if you're from one of them states and you're on right. the premiere, give us a shout. We always love to see where everyone's coming from. Okay. Next. What, what do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? We show loyalty to the flag and also to the United States of America. Very well done. How am I doing Next. so far? You're, you know. I'm doing okay. Yeah, you're doing great. Okay. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The 1800s. The one that I have remembered is the Civil War. Yes. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? The federal government, that would be printing money. Yes. How many U.S. Senators are there? There are 100 U.S. Senators. Sure are. The House of Representatives have, has how many voting members? This is a crazy amount of people. Is this the one, this is 435. Yep, there's 435. Wow. <laughs> How many amendments does the Constitution have? It has 27. Yes, it sure does. Name your U.S. representative. The Texas U.S. 
representative is Chip Roy. Yes. Or one of them, Chip Roy. Chip Roy. Now that's, do you know why I remember Chip Roy? Why do you remember Chip Roy? Because it's Chip. <laughs> Because in England we call chips chips and you call them french fries. It was just the easiest one to remember out of every one of them. Yeah, my grandfather's name was Chip. Really? Yeah. We don't call, and there's no one in England, no one in England is called Chip. Really? Yeah, it's not a name that we have. Yeah. Yeah. That was my grandfather's on my dad's That's side. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. What does the flag have, why does the flag have 50 stars? The flag has 50 stars to represent the 50 states. Yes. What is the political party of the president now? It is the Democratic Party. It is. Who signs bills to become laws? That's the president. Yes. Name one right only for United States citizens. Uh, there is a few, but one of the ones that I've remembered is the uh, right to vote in a federal election. That's correct, sir. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? He was in... World War II. Yes. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? That was... Roosevelt. Sure is. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot that one there. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Founding Fathers wrote the Constitution. Yep. You are correct, sir. Thank you. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Uh, to represent the th original 13 colonies. Yes. Name one branch or part of the government. Okay, there's a few again, but the one that I've remembered is the president. Yes. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Uh, again, there's a few, but the one that I've remembered is the power of protection so like the police force yes exactly okay what did martin luther king jr do uh fought for civil rights yes Gosh, forgot that. what is one thing benjamin franklin is famous for uh the one that i remember is him being a u.s diplomat yeah yeah okay Name two national U.S. holidays. There, there's a few, but I'm going to say Memorial Day and Labor Day. Exactly. All right. So um, if I could ask you to pause there for me a second, Jeremy. We'll pick those up again in just one second. So what I've just done now is I've just laid down a split color base. You saw what I did. I taped it off first and then removing the tape, I've then kind of filled in the gaps. Really wanted to play around with the base coats on this one just to see if it really gives me any kind of different effects as I roll the ball. I'm now gonna to torch this off because I've got some big bubbles. My allergies are so bad today, I apologize if I'm sniffing. Okay, Jeremy, let's resume the questions as I pour my colors onto the canvas. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not gonna pour exactly the same puddles on the canvas. I am gonna mix up the colors just to see what that does to the composition also. Okay, Jeremy, on you go. All right. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? Uh, older than 18, 18 years older. Yes. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. Yes. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Uh, World War I. Yes. There were 13 original states, name three. North Carolina, South Carolina, and New York. Yes. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? The United States was attacked by terrorists. Sure was. Who was the first president? George Washington. Yes. What is one reason colonists came to America? For freedom. Again, there's a few reasons, but that's the one I remember. Yes. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Oh, gosh. Declaration of Independence was adopted on July the 4th, 1787. No. Ah! Oh. Declaration of Independence. It's July the 4th, 
1788. Eight. No. No. 17. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. I fluffed it. 1776. Oh, gosh. Okay. July the 4th, 1776? Yes. Okay. Yes. Got it. The other one, the 18, yeah, 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 yeah. 87 is when it was written. There's the Constitution, not the Declaration of Independence. The Constitution was written. Yes. In, yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. So, what do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? Bill of Rights. Yes. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Uh, that would be checks and balances and the separation of power. Yes. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi. Yes. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? That'll be good old Nancy. Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi. Yes. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Sure did. What is the capital of your state? Austin, Texas. Yes. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Sure is. Do you know that that was actually written by a Brit? Really? Yep. Huh, I didn't know that, actually. What does the Constitution do? The Constitution... The Constitution sets up the government, defines the government, and protects the basic rights of the American people. Yes. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? To vote in a federal election. Very good. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. Yes. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Uh, anyone over the age of 18? Yes. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? He represents the people of his state. Yes. We elect a U.S. Representative for how many years? Two years. Yes. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Yes. And on that note, Jeremy, I'm going to pause. Okay. Thank you so much for helping me answer, uh, remember those questions again. I think I got one wrong out of that list. You get 100 questions, they're going to ask me 20, and I can get 12 right. I have to get 12 right, so I can get eight wrong. Yes. So, um, okay, thank you very much for that. It helps You're me welcome. learn. I'm very excited for the opportunity to become an American citizen, which is hopefully what I'll be doing next week. Um, all right, guys, now we're going to get to tilting this bad boy out. This is, in fact, pinball tilting tie. Let's do this.
All right, folks. So I'm not going to play around with this one anymore. Um, my immediate observations whilst I was tilting this was that my base coat was a heck of a lot thinner than my colours. And so that really had an impact in how this one was tilting out. So definitely what I've learned from this is the base coat really does want to be the same thickness as the top coat colours. Unlike when you're just doing a flow extender around a ring pour or something, mm. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something that I've taken away from this. And you know, this is my second time trying a split colour base. I ain't gonna do that anymore. I think one colour really is all that you need to get a really fun effect. Because I think this is taken away from mm. the beauty of the colours. So um, I don't dislike it. Um, I just know that, and what this makes me want to do is keep coming back and trying it again. Um, so that's it. That's my pinball. I'm going to get my edges real quick and then we'll take you in for a close up. Thank you guys. Okay guys, there you have it. There you have it. Yes, it was came out so good. You're I was so excited. Good. I really loved that open cup. It was so much fun. And to see the paints kind of like emerging from underneath the cup in that white. Yeah, really yeah. I really loved it. Yeah. And congratulations on leaving some negative space. I know, I never, I usually don't like to leave negative space, right. but I really, really liked like that negative space on this one. I thought it really added something to it. So much balance. So, yeah. Yeah, it looked really awesome. Yeah. Well done. I really liked it. Thank you. It. Thank you. Uh, observations for me. Thank you be, for being there with me as I learned my flashcards for my citizenship <laughs> test on 420. Thank you for that. I now know it's July the 4th, 1776. Yes. Um, was the date of the Declaration of Independence. Yes. Uh, sorry, the Declaration. Yeah, date of the Declaration. Yes, yes. God. Gotta remember that one. Um, but our observations about my pour. So the base coat and the colours need to be the same thickness and they yes. should be on the thicker side. Yes. So if you're gonna try this, don't use a flow extender like we normally do where you thin out the paints. Keep mm. that base a little thick too, because it's also gonna be that you're gonna track through the colours. Yeah. Um to, to kind mm -hmm. of you know to help create those lines. Yeah. So nice thick base, nice thick paints, that's my observation. I still think yours came out really well though. I, I, I didn't dislike it. Yeah. It is not my best. I will do more. That's that's the life of an artist. That's the life of an artist. <laughs> well, I like the fact it can be, you know, seeing things that I want to do differently makes me come back and want to keep trying it. Yes. And there's so many things that I've got in mind for this. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. And, and there might be something really exciting coming up in May. Oh. But I'll just little huh. teaser. <laughs> we'll tell you I wonder what that, that is. Closer to the time. He never tells me anything. No, you don't have to know. <laughs> Oh, That's because I like I, I get excited and I just like blurt it out. Well, so. if I, yeah, if I tell you, you'll just tell everyone. So yeah, I've got to keep some secrets. So, well, all right, guys, it has been a really fun episode. Should Thank we, you for joining us. Before we say goodbye, should we take them in to see the dry pieces? <sighs> Sorry, the wet pieces. Yes. Let's Less. do that real quick. Come and have a look at the wet pieces one last time. So, all right. I hope you all liked those. Me too. And yeah, yeah. Friday I can't night. Wait. Friday night. 
Mm-hmm. What about Friday night? That is Friday night. So oh, I was yeah. like, I thought you were going to say something about tonight. I was like, <laughs> no, it is Friday night. So go and enjoy your evenings, everyone. <laughs> yes. If you haven't already, have a cocktail. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, all right, guys. With that, thank you for watching, and we will see you on Sunday. Yeah, we will. Please come and watch the big go home or go big collab. Yes. We'll see you then. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. So there are some extra special people that we want to say thank you to, and that's to our Patreons. Uh, or as we like to call them, the Massey Posse. Now the Patreon account is something completely separate to the YouTube channel, but it allows a certain few of you the opportunity to have a little bit of a closer look at the studio. Yes. And there are various levels. So at one level, you might get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. What? You might get op- the opportunity to join us on our live WhatsApp chat group where we swap pictures and talk about techniques. Yes. Um, At a certain level, you get invited to once a month tutorials where we focus on a specific technique and we do it on a live stream, as well as separate live streams as well. And for our diamond pourers, which is our highest tier, those guys get to pick the colors for one episode that we shoot on the YouTube channel, and then they get to pick one of the 11 by 14 canvases to keep every single month. So we do have some people to thank, and that's at the gold level, we have Nate Bright, we have Gloria Salonki, aka Glitzy, we have Jane Klein, Trisha West, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Janice Swansea. Nice. On the platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver. Thank you, Leslie. And then at the diamond level, Laurie Finzer, aka Sparkles, Sparkles, who you all know and love. So thank you very much to all you guys. And then also thank you to everyone else down here below at the other levels. We absolutely appreciate you and thank you for being with us here on this journey.